had my consultant's appointment. I can't remember if I've actually done that or not. Move all the, you know, amazing amount of pillows I've been sleeping with on all different parts of my body over to my right side, try and get comfortable there. And within about half an hour, the same thing has happened down my left, my right side. So I have to try and switch. Oh, excuse me, I'm a bit hungry. So there's the nausea just kicking in. I'm still So yeah. just in town, um, I've come in to my new to have them look at my skin a little bit just to see why it's well, if there's anything they can do to stop it from flaring up. Um, you can see it, it's a little bit better today, but it's still very, very irritated. So, and of course I'm ridiculously early, so I'm just coming to have a coffee. Um, and fingers crossed they can recommend some things that will help calm it down. Um, and what else is on the agenda today? Gym this afternoon. A um, little bit of an easier week. It's Easter week, so I try to get everything done last week and then two busy days tomorrow and Wednesday so that I can take a couple of days off over Easter. Um, and also, I have started to get a lot of round ligament pain, which is kind of like the stretching pain. Um, when I, if I get up suddenly or I sneeze or cough, it's an incredibly weird situation. Makeup is done. I'm in a very green outfit today. I'm going for afternoon tea in Luttrell's town with my sister. They invited me today as a guest which is such a nice treat and it's so nice to just be dressed up and not wearing leggings. Um, so I will take a few videos while I'm having my afternoon tea as well as my as a, my outfit because I really really like this outfit. It I don't normally colour block this bright but I really like it and also this dress is so comfortable and it sits in all the right places so I'll show you a little bit later. Okay here's how we're looking not the most flattering angle of me but we are 19 weeks 19 weeks my little baby almost halfway there cooking this is also the most comfortable dress it's from uh, River Island at Very, and Very sent it to me as part of um, a collaboration I did with them for St. Patrick's Day. And honestly, oh, it's just lovely. It's elasticated here, which is so nice. It just sits in the right place. Um, and it's so comfortable. And then it's got these like sheer sleeves, but then you can see it's got like, I don't know if you can see, but like these halter, well, the lining's actually halter, which is lovely, um, and it's kind of midi. So I'm going to take a proper set of pictures later on because I will have my sister to help me. So um, I'm going to get her to um, help me take some content um, in Luttrell's Town Castle, which I think is going to be lovely. And it's such a nice day, such a nice day. I'm also completely thrilled. My rosacea has improved 200% since I went to Renew last week. Um, the antibiotic cream which I'm still using I have two more days to use that three more days to use that and um that has really really helped but also all the event products the combination of the thermal water the sickle face to reduce the redness and improve my skin barrier are all working so well so like if you can just see kind of close up now I have a lot of makeup on but I mean I was spending so long trying to cover it up and now I don't have to so that is such a relief how is your afternoon tea? Oh, it's so nice. I'd like to live here. We'd like to live here and look at this beautiful room. Isn't it gorgeous? Leave it to all to ourselves, I think, for now. But anyway, we have some cake left. I'm going to take this home because we just can't finish it. We're so full. But it was absolutely lovely. I had some non-alcoholic champagne. Marianne had some real champagne and has drained her glass. And now we're just going to get this all packed up and take it home. It's uh, Easter Sunday. I'm now, no, it's not Easter Sunday. Oh my God, it's Easter Monday. Losing track of the days. <laughs> Bank holiday Monday. I'm 19 weeks now. Um, and look, I just wanted to show how much better my skin is. So I've been sticking to that routine that I shared in my last vlog. Um, and it has worked. So it's not even been a week. Actually, no, it is a week since I started using them. And like the difference is just unbelievable. Like my forehead has completely cleared, which is just makes me feel so much better in myself. Um, because I like to go around with no makeup on. I only really wear makeup when I need to for work. So I lost my confidence a little bit when my skin was so bad. 
and you become kind of paranoid I think that oh my god people are looking at me you know my skin is so bad I'm and I kind of <laughs> was kind of segueing into feeling that a little bit so it's such a relief to have it so much better um, and I'm telling you Renew are just the best at giving the most accurate practical advice on how to deal with skin issues so I'm so thrilled that it's so much better my skin feels so much more hydrated it's still not perfect but if it stays just like this for the rest of my pregnancy I will absolutely be incredibly happy with that but if it does flare up at least I know what to do now and I have all the right products that suit my skin for the way my hormones are working at the moment um but speaking of hormones and other things um, for the last, I'd say, five or six nights, I have just not been able to sleep with the pain in my hips. So something I kind of did or didn't know, um, kind of did know, but didn't know how relevant it was is that you really need to sleep on your side when you're pregnant, especially after a certain amount of time. So I've been, I'm kind of a side sleeper. I usually would start my back and then turn to my side, but I've just been sleeping on my side for several, several weeks now. And what's really annoying is that I go asleep, um, let's say on my left hand side with, you know, my pregnancy pillow kind of supporting my back a little bit. It also comes up in between my legs, um, which helps a bit with like leg cramps and things like that. But it's the pain in my hip that is unbelievable. So now that like my bump has gotten bigger and heavier, obviously when I'm on my side, it just is putting pressure on that side as well. Um, and it the pain is just waking me up and then it kind of darts all the way down my leg. So what I do then is I turn to the other side, move all the, you know, amazing amount of pillows I've been sleeping with <laughs> on all different parts of my body over to my right side, try and get comfortable there. And within about half an hour, the same thing has happened down my left, my right side. So I have to try and switch back. So last night I decided I was just going to sleep sitting up for a while because it was just so uncomfortable. It's like a really, really dull pain in my hips. Um, but it's just, it's so uncomfortable. Um, and I was talking about it on my Instagram last night. And I got loads of advice and things to take, like vitamins, of which I am taking already, and um, maybe speaking to a physical therapist or physio um, to try and help with that. Um, so that's what I'm going to do this week. I'm in with my consultant on Wednesday, and I'm going to talk to him about this because, you know, I thought the kind of sleepless days came when the baby was born, not necessarily <laughs> before it arrived. Um, and I'm also really disturbing Paddy at night as well with all my tossing and turning and my huge pit amount of pillows. So what I think I'm going to do tonight is just put a pillow under my abdomen um, just to lift my bump up a little bit to kind of take the pressure off my hip and put the pillow in between my legs and see if that kind of helps. Um, so this morning I had a bit of a lie and usually I get up at like 6.30 on the nose um, or 7, but that didn't happen today. It was just exhausted so I'm going to try a different strategy tonight and see if that helps um and the thing is my pregnancy pillow was so comfortable like along my back and to come up around my my head but the problem is is that my tummy isn't big enough to actually put it on to the long end of the pregnancy pillow yet because that's quite deep it's about this deep and my bump isn't that big to kind of touch it over onto it so I've just been using pillows um, or cushions. So tonight I'm going to slide the cushion in a little bit more. So it kind of pushes me at a little bit more of a recline just to take the pressure off a little bit. And we'll see how that goes. But as soon as I talked about it yesterday on my Instagram, so many people came back and said, yeah, know all about it. That is a very familiar story you're telling. Um, one person told me it only gets worse, which I was like, okay, Let's be straight. <laughs> I know it's going to get worse, but I'd rather find a way of alleviating it now. So even if the, if that's physio or getting some more professional advice on how to, to help it now or ease it. I'm also starting prenatal yoga. Not this week, next week, I think. So I'm hoping that that's going to help with like my mobility and give my hips a good stretch and prevent any other kind of issues with my pelvis further down the line. Um, so yeah, it's a very really weird thing to navigate isn't it all these different things like going through the first trimester where I had nausea was so incredibly tired all the time 
um, to the second trimester where I had some dizzy spells and now I have this. So I'm like, what else is in store? <laughs> but do you know what? I feel very lucky and things are going well and that's all that matters. So um, this week is a light enough work week for me um, because it's quite short. I've got a lot of preparation to do for the week after next where I'm quite busy. So I'm gonna try and get all of that done this week um, and try not to move around too much as well. Um, tomorrow I'm going to a really nice YSL makeup, makeup demonstration which is really good. I'm going to learn some tips and how to use some of their products. So I'll bring my camera along to that. So I've just been at this gorgeous YSL event. You can see everyone behind me too. Just see some of their new products, which is amazing. And I have um, some goodies to take home with me to try out. Um, but they've got some amazing new kind of skincare based makeup, which is really good. Um, some of it I've tried before and I loved. Um, but I've got some new goodies to try out when I go home, which is very exciting. I am just going to get ready to go into town for my uh, third consultant's visit. Um, I also have to have a blood test, I'm sorry I'm pulling up my socks here, um, because I have a really unusual blood type which is negative, rhesus negative, so I have to have an extra test done to see if the baby has a different blood um, type to me. Um, and if it does, it means if I get a knock or a fall or anything kind of, you know, runs into the bump, let's say, for want of a better phrase, I would have to have an injection called anti-D and it's to kind of stop um, my, and I think how it works anyway, please don't take this as gospel, the antibodies in my blood type fighting the ones of the babies. So I think that kind of neutralizes that whole thing. Someone I'm sure will tell me that's all wrong, but <laughs> I'm still learning anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna do my makeup and yesterday, I was at that lovely YSL event, so I got some of this, which is the New Skin um, Lip Tint. No, it's not Lip Tint. This is what happens when I'm sleep deprived. It's like a skin tint, but it's kind of more primarily skincare than makeup, but it does have a lovely color to it. And I used this one when I was on holidays. I had this already. Um, this one is actually shade four, which is great for the summer, but because I'm a little paler, because I have there hasn't been any sun, um, I got shade matched yesterday for shade number three. So I'm gonna stick some of this on um, and get ready. So I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. The finish is quite nice. So there is me with no makeup on that side. And there is the finish on this side, which is really lovely. So it's lovely and light, and it kind of gives you this no makeup kind of makeup effect. Um, which I really, really like, especially for during the day um, when I don't want to wear a whole lot of makeup. Um, and some of the other foundations I have are very, very makeup-y. Um, so you look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. But I feel with this one, it kind of is a nice kind of happy medium. You get a really nice glow. It blends really well. I also love this brush, right? This is from Penny's. Um, it's called the Angled Foundation Brush. Um, and I got it probably about two years ago. It was sent to me um, in a press strap of all of their new brushes. Um, and I actually used the one they sent me so much, um, I ended up like a, like bidding it and going to replace it because um, I love it so much. So this is actually a brand new one um, and I really love it. But look, I think that blends beautifully isn't it really nice um and they also have this new mascara and um, lash clash now it's actually not a new mascara but this is now in brown as opposed to black i love brown mascara look at that mascara I'm telling you brown mascara is underrated and i absolutely love it especially with the blue eyes i think it kind of makes me i don't know it flatters the color a little bit more but that's all the makeup i'm gonna do it's quite a natural Kind of look but i quite like it i'm just going to put some um lip color on it is a sunny friday like how amazing is that um i am counting down now to my halfway so my halfway is sunday or 20 weeks on sunday which is such like an important milestone for me um 
I had my consultant's appointment. I can't remember if I've actually done that or not. Have I talked about that already? Honestly, it's so funny. My brain just does not work at the same speed as it used to. Um, anyway, my consultant's appointment was amazing. Uh, baby's looking great and growing really big, and um, which is so exciting to see. Um, so I'm just keep doing what I'm doing, which is great. Um, so Friday today, not much on today, just a few little bits of admin work to set up for next week. I'm just waiting on Louise. We're gonna go and have brunch in Ranala, which is such a nice way to spend a Friday morning. And, oh, I see her coming now. My obsession with maternity pants or knickers has just increased a hundredfold. I've just come into Dunn's and they have actually proper like, you know, high waisted like maternity pants slash look like a granny pants but look they're only six euros so i'm gonna buy these and see how i get on i'm just incredibly excited about this oh how times have changed when i like used to buy free stuff and now i'm buying these sexy undies into an event with tanqueray tonight so i'm just doing some outfit planning so i think i'm gonna wear this blazer and this ribbed dress that i got in pennies which is really lovely and then i got out these Penny shoes from last year, which I really like. And then I've got these ones from Zara. So I'm just gonna decide which one of those. This is the Skims dress, and I'm actually gonna do a try on this evening. So I'm actually, well, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna go get ready very early and get my makeup done and everything so that I can film that first. Um, so the good thing is as well also, is that it is a the launch of their non-alcohol, as in zero, zero percent alcohol gin, which means, I can have a drink, yay!